I'm going to take these two out now for a test run. So stick around. Thanks. Oh man, wow. This thing just arrived from uh, India. All right, guys, let's unbox this. So welcome, guys. I'm about to pry open this envelope. So it took a while, uh, probably about two weeks to arrive from India. Let's see what it looks like. So this was designed and invented by Aditya, who is a medical student in Mumbai, together with his brother Rohan. And they came up with these amazing watercolor sheets. So if you're an oven sketcher, okay, wait a minute, I ordered two, but only one arrived. There are 16 colors in here. These were the watercolor sheets that went viral on Indiegogo. It's called Viviva Color Sheets and they're supposed to be super vivid and at the same time uh, transparent watercolors. You know, the first time I tried these were in Ireland. A fellow artist, Joanne, showed it to me and I was like, yeah, I've heard of this. And she allowed me to mess around with it a bit. Hey, hello. Oh, how are you? No, I'm recognizing you now. How are you? Good. All right. Using both my white knights along with a Viviva, you can immediately spot on how intense the colors are. The intensity from such a flat surface of the Viviva color pad, it's insane, it's unbelievable. It pops right out of the page. Uh, also at the same time, I'll be reviewing this homemade brush from Straits Art Company here in Singapore. Asing makes these things and it looks great. It's a sable brush and uh, of course you have this little hole here for uh, it to dry. I just want to mention how amazed I am with the thinness of each sheet. Uh, they're so thin and yet they produce colors with such intensity. Um, it's uh, really neat to know that each facing side is separated by some vellum or some baking sheet that prevents uh, the colors uh, getting over on this other side. What you see physically don't necessarily tell you what the colors are. And that's why I'm doing a color chart here for you. So let's begin. So let's start with uh, crimson. Ooh, smooth. Yeah. And let's see how this thing uh, gradates. This thing feels like ink. Yeah. Okay, so next up, deep pink. By the time I'm done with the last panel, the first four colors are pretty much dry. So that's um, roughly how long it takes to dry. You can see how intense the colors are. Both the brush and the Viviva colors work really well together. So just want to mention quickly that while working on these, that the application itself is really smooth. It's like, it's almost like magic. The colors are really light, really thin, and of course I'm just trying this out for the first time. It probably needs a few more practices before I get really comfortable with the gradation of colors. Some of the colors are similar looking, or maybe I've not figured out how to fully maximize or utilize the colors yet. They are fun to use, so if you're n uh, not so serious, watercolorist 
or if you're just using it for a quick sketch. These are great, they work perfect. Let's take this outdoors right now for another test run. This really gives me the feel of a Harry Potter magic wand for some reason. Beautifully handcrafted, this pocket sized travel brush weighs at approximately 6 grams and is perfect especially for those who love to travel light and paint small or do small sketches. This might be your brush. The flow of the colours off the brush and onto the paper is extremely easy to use. A more in-depth review following this test pilot video of the Viviva and Sable brush to follow after spending more time using them. Uh, right now I'm attaching links below if you want to try them out yourself. This is Elvin Mark from the Old Airport Road Food Centre. Ciao ciao.